guys and welcome back. It's Shana O'Kelly aka Little Bit of Sunshine hoping to brighten up your day no matter what the weather. And I have not said that in a few weeks now and I'm here to explain why and what has happened in my life in the past few weeks. So in September I got a job uh, working retail. I won't go too much into what I was doing and the job was great and I really liked the work that I had to do as in I was doing a lot of creative like stuff I was doing I won't lie about it. like I was doing t-shirts I was doing embroidery I was doing a lot of jobs that I kind of liked to do the problem that I had mainly with the job was the hours and the intensity of the job um I was doing 50 50 odd hours a week so that is why I kind of disappeared off YouTube because by the time I was coming home I was only fifth in my bed and that was it like there was nothing else in my life I wasn't going to the gym I even got to the point where I got a second gym membership in the shopping centre to try and get some gym in but it still wasn't working for me I was exhausted I was actually sick because I was so tired I was catching like I had I was smothering for like four weeks with a cold and um, because where the job was I was right at the door all the time and because it's obviously colder in Ireland that was affecting me <laughs> on top of that like I wasn't allowed of any breaks I was doing between six hours a day to 13 hours a day six days a week some days uh, some weeks I was getting five days a week but that was like very rare weeks compared to other weeks I was only in this job for seven weeks by the way just to make that clear so I literally had no life Um, I was going from literally I was just going around everywhere with bags because I was trying to fit everybody in at the time. I was I was with someone at the time and I was trying to get to his all the time so we could spend time together. I was trying to come home and spend time with my mum. You know, one day off a week, that's really, really hard to do. I, it was just, it was a mess. And it was taking over too much. And it just wasn't worth it for a minimum wage job that I was happy happy in in the beginning but you know what as the weeks went on I realized I was pretty darn miserable and I really cracked the day that I came home and just bawled my eyes out and I was like I cannot do this anymore and I really quit on things or give up on things or you know but I had had enough um oh I'm so angry the job was very stressful in itself it was always you know last minute jobs people that wanted things yesterday but only ordered them 10 minutes ago and wanted to know why you didn't have them done yet and um, there was a lot of that and i'm great with people and great with customers customers actually had very little issues with me and um, i always had repeat customers even when i left i still had customers that came back looking for me in the small period of time that i'd been there i had gotten regular customers and customers like comeback customers that you know just loved my attitude and loved how quick i would do things for them or how i would treat them i guess and um, so i had to leave that job because it was just it it was controlling my life and a job shouldn't do that you should always have a life outside of a job um, but there was other things to it too that I won't go into because I just I just don't want to go into it like I kind of just want to leave that job alone now get my P45 get whatever else I need to get out of it and just be done with it. be done with that particular job and move on to my next job because I quit my job last Sunday I'm going to say I sent my email on Sunday I had decided I was going to do it on Friday but I was being really nice and held off till Sunday because my boss's boyfriend had a 40th birthday and I just didn't want to ruin and put a bad vibe on the birthday party. So I held it off till Sunday morning, which you'd say is a bit harsh when they were, had a hangover or whatever. But I needed to give him enough notice because I was finishing up that Monday. I had had enough. Like, I was like, nope, Monday, I'm done. Um, I was meant to be off Tuesday and Wednesday as well. So that was an unusual occurrence and something I booked off on my first day because I was meant to be going away them two days. Um, I, I, my trip actually got cancelled but I didn't tell my boss that because I knew I'd lose them two days then and I wanted them two days but um, when I'd had enough I realised like, do you know what the two days didn't matter nothing mattered I was leaving on Monday and I even left early on Monday I was really really strict about it I was kind of like no do you know what I'm leaving Um, there was nobody to cover me which you'd say was really mean to me but that was another big issue was that I was basically 
it was a stand rather than a shop and I was basically on that stand on my own all day most days and the odd time to be somebody with me but it was very unusual to have someone with me I spent more time on my own than with people and it, that was kind of taking effect too because it meant I couldn't even go to the toilet without even calling a security guard or you know I couldn't really do anything I couldn't leave the sand all the work was kind of on me and that was kind of, it was you know it wasn't easy it was actually really really difficult to be the only person doing everything so like i'd be in the middle of doing an order and be taking in other orders at the same time making sure this order is still going making sure the t-shirt is still running the embroidery is still going and still taking an order to chill and you know i was basically doing the work with two to three people and that was down to my boss he kept saying he was gonna hire someone but you know what he kept telling me he was gonna hire somebody the first day i started and by the seventh week he still hadn't hired someone and to this day he still hasn't hired someone and still hasn't replaced me so just goes to show that he's willing to like i don't think he was willing to i'm not gonna say spend the money but take on another wage as such which was having an effect on the business and having an effect on me as well so that is why I, I just had to live, like I had to get out. And it was, just, I, as I said, I'm not a quitter and I'm not the kind of person that just goes, that's it, I'm done. But that was, I got pushed to that point. So anyway, as I came out on Monday, I did up my CV well before that. That weekend I was working on my CV, I knew I wanted out, out, out. So I did my CV up and I applied for, I'm not going to say everywhere and anywhere, but everywhere and anywhere I thought I could work. And a lot of the work that was available at the minute is either seasonal or part-time. And I kind of was like, right, I prefer part-time over seasonal because seasonal meant I'd be working for five weeks and then have nothing. But at least with part-time, it meant I would, I would continue on after Christmas. Even if it was only 20 to 25 hours a week, that is grand. That'll do me. I don't need bundles of money. Like, I, you know, as long as I can eat and sleep, I'm happy. So, 20, I applied for, I'd say, 30 odd jobs in the past like in that weekend before I'd even quit my job and I got a few callbacks and I finished as I said on the Monday um, and then this week this actual week now I've had four interviews I want to say um, no three I got a call back for three interviews for three positions and I got a call back like another interview like round two and round three of one of them and in them both, all them jobs, <laughs> the three jobs that I went for, I got offered two of the jobs. So I felt pretty darn good to see because one of them was a job I really, really didn't think I had any chance in getting. And the other was a job, I just, not that I didn't think I had a chance of getting, but I thought there might be someone better qualified for the job. And that was really wrong of me to think that way because I forget like all the things that I've done over the years and like the kind of work I have put in over the past few years I always think someone deserves a job more than I do which is a really bad outlook on life but that was the way I felt and I walked I actually I got offered two to three jobs and and I was really surprised and I was actually like sugar now what do I do I have to pick a job and one of the jobs I got offered was as a carer in a care home and the other was a, a sales assistant in the health store and I finally made my decision last night and I decided to go for the health store. Both were the same hours, but the care home was quarter to eight in the morning to quarter to two, whereas the health store, I don't really know my hours, but I know they'll be kind of later in the day and they might be a little bit more sporadic. And you know, there was a lot of, I, there was a lot of goods and bads in both jobs. And I just didn't know which one to go for for ages because i was like both are actually a really good job both i get training in you think the sales assistant the health store you get nothing with that but with that i was going to get like nutrition uh lessons and they were going to teach like like that way of life is in all about nutrition and health and health field and all that kind of stuff stuff i really enjoy learning about so i was kind of like hell yeah and then the care obviously i was going to learn how to take care of elderly people and do all that kind of thing so they were both really really good options but I decided to go with the health store just because it's a little bit closer to home, which was one. And there's more money, <laughs> really selfish, but there is more money in the health store because I do get the opportunity to get commission and I do get other opportunities as well to get more training and progress on where I wasn't really told if I would be able to progress as a healthcare assistant. And not that I don't think I would, but I, 
I don't really know if I see my future being like the head of HCAs. Do you know what I do kind of see more of a nutrition thing for me because I am very obsessed with food and obsessed with nutrition and obsessed with what it can do for my body. So that was a really good option for me. I talked it through with a lot of people, didn't tell them where my mindset was at because mine was actually more of the carer at the time. But I talked to seven people that I really, really trust. And I knew they, not that I knew they'd make a better option, but I knew they'd make a better point. All seven of them said to go for the health store. So I knew that maybe I was looking at it in the wrong kind of light. And when they said it, I was kind of like, right, no, you are 100% right. I'm not thinking straight. I've had a rough week. I'm not thinking straight. I'm just thinking of, I, I don't even know what I was thinking of, to be honest. I guess I felt there was more job security in the HCA job than there would be in the health store, which was brain dead of me. Because you can always get more jobs in retail, whereas, you know, with healthcare assistants, you're kind of, I won't say you're limited, but you, you, a lot of them will require training and, I mean, proper training, like go to college training. Whereas, a sales assistant really doesn't, so that's, not that that was a contributing factor, but I just felt I have a more of a future in nutrition than I would in HCA. HCA was what my mum did, and not that I don't want to follow my mum's footsteps. I think what my mum did, does and did over the past many ever years she's done it, has been amazing and changed so many people's life. And I guess that was one thing that made me want to go for that was that I knew how much of an impact my mum has had on other people's life but maybe that's not the same impact I could have on people's life. I can still have an impact on people's life by putting them in the right direction with food and health supplements. You know, I could get help people get over IBS, I can help people get over stress, I can help people get over anxiety, I can help people do all that kind of stuff, lose weight, transform their life, all that kind of jazz. And I do feel that stuff that I am better at because it's stuff I actually already do in my daily life already. People always come to me for nutritional advice, information, you know, oh I'm gluten intolerant now, what do I eat, oh I, I can't tolerate dairy, where do I go, all that kind of jazz. And I'm always that person people come to because, you know, I, not that I know everything about it but you know if you needed a source of information of food that's different I'm probably your best bet on your friend list so that is where my life is now I start my new job on Tuesday so hopefully this will be up before Tuesday or I will look like an idiot day on Tuesday but I do start this Tuesday and I'm just saying Tuesday Saturday no Tuesday Friday Saturday so it's really like it's not as harsh a week as the last job was which I kind of love and I'm, I, it's going to take a little while to get used to it, obviously. It's, an, it's a completely new environment. But I'm really excited because a lot of the girls are vegan. And I don't have any vegan friends. So that's going to blow my mind to actually have a vegan friend. <laughs> and uh, what do you call it? Just there's loads that I'm really excited to do. Like I have a training day on Tuesday. And a lot of that is learning about nutrition. And again, obviously stuff I love to learn about. So I'm really excited to get through that and do that. And I just, uh, it means I can get back into doing things I love as well, like YouTube, like going to the gym, things like that, like actually spending time with people. Um, I obviously, I don't have a boyfriend anymore, long story, won't go into it, um, but it means I can actually spend time with my friends now and actually go places and do things and not have to like literally you know, have no roster. That was another thing I had and didn't have in my job. So I never knew what day I was going to have off. And I knew once I had a day off, I had to maximise everything I did in that day with nightmare. Uh, but I hope to obviously spend a lot more time doing this because I have missed saying, like, talking to you guys and actually just speaking to a camera. As weird as that sounds, I really, really missed it. People think I'm mad when I say I miss doing YouTube. And I'm like, no, I really do. I miss doing it. Um, but I'm back and I don't plan to go anywhere in the meantime. Uh, unfortunately, we're still getting work done in the house, which obviously affects my upload schedule a hell of a lot. But I told my mum she's now barred from getting things done in the house. So once the job that's done at the minute is done, we are finito for this year. I mean it. We are so done for this year. I am sick of strange men being in my house, doing things in my house. And I don't mean that in a dirty way, but I mean that in a, you know, we have a new bathroom, we have a new kitchen, everything's plastered. Oh god, the only thing we're missing is new floors, but she's not allowed to get them done until next year. And I've made that, like, <laughs> I'm going to say I've made that abundantly clear that we will not be getting floors done until next year. She has to give me Christmas in peace. <laughs> 
but uh, thank you for watching and I hope you are all still around to watch this video I know I've disappeared for so long after saying I'd be uploading so many times a week and I haven't Um, I do hope that will change not that I hope that will change I'm going to make the better effort to make that change and I don't want to be that YouTuber that always says oh, I'll be back next week and then never comes back <coughs> Darren O'Hanlon and T. Cronin <coughs> <laughs> sorry, I had to do it. I'm sorry. They're probably not watching this anyway, so I'm grand. They never watch my videos, so it's grand. I control that kind of shit. <laughs> nah, they will come back eventually, but like I, I always like slight them that they never come back. I guess I have fallen into the same trap they have over the past while, which is letting life take over and not making time for YouTube. Not that I didn't want it, it's just that I wasn't actually able to. So I hope that explains where I've been, why I've been there and just I'm sorry that's what I'm gonna say I'm absolutely so sorry because this was something I intended to put so much effort into and didn't and that is not like me usually when I say I'm gonna do something I do and that's the end of it but I haven't done that with this channel and I'm sorry about that I, I it frustrates me so much because it's something that I want to put time into and I don't so now it's time to stop putting time into stupid things and start putting time into you guys and this channel. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, let me know down in the comments what's up in your life. Leave me a like if you feel like it. I, I'm not one of the people that says, give it this a big thumbs up. But um, if you want it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm usually a lot more consistent. I'm usually not in my PJs doing videos. But that's the way we have to be today because... My mom is off early today, so I wanted to get this video done before she came home. So, that is why I'm in my PJs. And you're like, that's not even PJs, that's a t-shirt, you could have got away with not saying anything. Yeah, but the bottoms kind of hang me. <laughs> let, let me know down in the comments what's going on in your life. If you're still here, um, say hello, say goodbye. Don't say goodbye, actually. Do not say goodbye. Don't, don't make this a bittersweet goodbye. But let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see from this channel in the future. Um, I've really had a lot of ideas in the future for the future of videos i would like to do um i actually i might do a video explaining some of the ideas i have for youtube so that's gonna be my next video now i didn't even plan that but that makes more sense because this video is super long so goodbye and i'll see you soon bye